roasted potatoes are easy to enjoy but difficult to master. Here's a secret step that could turn your potatoes into a smashing success. If you want your food to be crispy, you probably think of this complex culinary formula. More heat equals more crisp. After all, the hotter the area your food is exposed to, the crispier it will become, right? But if your potatoes are in the oven already and they're still not coming out crispy, something is a little off. But what could it be? Well, the answer, as Real Simple explains, is that you should be preheating your pan beforehand to the desired temperature you're going to be roasting your potatoes. While the outlet suggests leaving your pan in the oven for 10 minutes, they also note that this is a forgivable process, so you can leave your pan until you feel it's hot enough. By heating the surface of the pan, the potatoes will start to bake as soon as they touch the surface, rather than having to cook after a few minutes in the oven. This results in the potatoes getting that golden brown color faster. Another handy trick for roasted potatoes is to parboil them before putting them in the oven. Just in case you've never heard of parboiling before, Food Fanatic defines it as a cooking method where you're partially cooking something by boiling for a short time, usually followed by a quick dip in some ice water. You're boiling your potatoes, but not all the way through. You may be thinking it's odd to boil your potatoes before roasting them, and that's a fair point. You don't have to parboil your potatoes if you're in a hurry, and there's no reason to say they wouldn't turn out just fine. However, parboiling does offer an important benefit, ensuring a soft, creamy interior while still keeping that crispy skin. As Cookin explains, parboiling your potato chunks involves placing your potatoes in a pot of cold water and turning up the stove to high heat until the water starts to boil. Reduce the heat and then boil the potatoes between 5 to 10 minutes or until a fork can pass through the potatoes with some resistance. From there, simply drain the potatoes, give them a few minutes to cool, and roast them as you usually would. But how does this help your potatoes? Well, you see, the parboiling process helps the potatoes roast faster, allowing them to crisp quickly and more evenly than they would without this step. If you boil them all the way through, you may run the risk of getting mushy insides. Also, when you make your roasted potatoes, it's probably a safe bet to say you just leave them as a pile of roughly cut chunks and roast them that way. While this is a tried and true method for making some pretty good potatoes, have you ever thought about smashing your potatoes? You know, I don't even know what that means. Well, according to Masterclass's roasted potato recipe, it means the difference between crispy, fluffy roasted potatoes and a big, mushy plate of disappointment. This sounds complicated. It's actually quite a simple process. All you need to do is press down on the potatoes gently with the bottom of a glass in order to smash them. Why go through this extra step? According to Last Ingredient, smashing your potatoes gives them more surface area, which in turn exposes more of the potatoes to the heat of the pan. This means that, compared to your unsmashed potatoes, these smash spuds will have crispier edges and skin while still remaining soft on the inside. It's important to note, however, that you don't want to smash them full on like you're making mashed potatoes. Simply flatten them out a bit into a circular shape. If you don't like the flattened look for presentation purposes, you could still make sure to get crispy edges on all sides by simply tossing your potatoes every few minutes. During the roasting process, this will ensure all parts of the potatoes are exposed to as much heat as possible, thus allowing for multiple sides of the potato to crisp up.